Hello friends, this video polynomials part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 and part 2. First thing we will study is geometric meaning of zeros of a polynomial. So what is zero of a polynomial? We know that, but let me revise. Zero, a real number k is said to be zero of a polynomial px if pk is equal to zero. Example, if we have px is equal to let's suppose x square minus 4. Now for all the values of x for which this value will be 0 that is called 0 of polynomial. For example when I say p1, p1 is nothing but 1 square minus 4 that is minus 3. p2, p2 is nothing but 2 square minus 4 that is 0. So since p2 is 0 we will say 2 is the 0 of polynomial function px. 1 is not the 0 of polynomial function px. Correct? For a given function, for what all values, if px becomes 0 or pk is become 0, then k is said to be 0 of a polynomial function. We will take more examples. Graphically, 0 of a polynomial function is nothing but x coordinate of a point where the graph px intersect x axis. For example, if we have this is our graph and this is some plot we have got. Right, some some plot, some function we had for this we have the plot. So if this function needs the x axis at this point. So this point, if you see, this will be nothing but some value of x one. Let's suppose comma zero. Because y is zero here, since it is intersecting x axis, y is equal to zero. Because this is y is zero, this is y is one, this is y is two, this is minus one, minus two, this is zero. This is y axis. And this is x axis. Zeros of a polynomial px is nothing but x coordinate of the point. We are talking about this point because this point where this function px function intersects the x axis. If this is the graph and this is the function like this, this is the function. So if you see this function meets the x axis at three points, four points actually. So there are four zeros of this function. This is one point, this is two point, there are three point. Here. Similarly, if you have something like this, this graph, here this, this is px function, this px function meet the x is at two points. So there are two zeros of this function. So zero of the point number function is nothing but x coordinate of the point of the graph where this function, px function meets x axis. Remember both sides x and x. You have to draw the graph and you have to find where these graphs are meeting the x axis at that those points you have to find the x coordinate because y coordinate is always 0. Any point that is on the x axis the y coordinate is always 0. Ignore that. We are concerned only about the x axis and x coordinates. Correct? Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.